since it is obvious that you squandered 5 million naira in just 24 hours. Let's take the reminder to 15 million naira. You know, I'm not done with my splashing yet. I haven't taken my queen out for shopping. <laughs> and you know, you have to change that box of matches you call a car. So, what are you going to do with the remaining 15 million naira? Well, uh, I don't know yet. I, uh, I thought you would have some suggestions. You know, I don't know how business moves around here. Knowing that I spend most of my life in the U.S., I just thought you would be a help. I can. I, I, I really can, but right now I can't really think of any nice, sustainable business that you can venture in, but I think what I would really recommend is a quick buying and selling so we can actually get the capital that we want to start a bigger business. What? Wait a minute, are you saying that 15 million Nara is peanuts? Exactly. By the time we navigate through the creeks of local businesses, and you will discover to your shock the abundance of cash that resides in this country. And then you will know that anybody can become a billionaire with a flip of a hand as long as you have a little luck by your side. Oh, my darling kid. You know, God really brought us together for a particular reason. Mm. And together, we are going to build that great empire. Oh, baby, you're wonderful. <laughs> Hello. Um, I'm Kingsley Abor and I'm here to see MD. Hello, madam. Oh, Kingsley Abor is here to see you. struggling to pay back his debt to the bank. So I talked with him and he agreed to sell the property and pay back the 20 million naira he owns the bank. At which case we have 10 million naira at the end of the day. Initially he was supposed to pay the bank 80 million naira, 70% of the principal interest. I talked with the bank and they agreed to pay it down to 20 million naira, but they told me to sell the property if it doesn't pay up. Okay. Um, here are the papers. Photocopies of them. If we pay the man 30 million naira, I have a buyer who is willing to pay 70 million naira. That's like 100% interest for the initial buyer. Now, if you pay 30 million naira, I'll take the man to the bank and he will have to settle his debt of 20 million naira of which he will collect his papers and he will sign them over to me. I also asked him to write a letter of transfer of ownership with a space for the bank as well as the new buyer and signature, which he will also sign over to me. Well, is it possible for us to wait for the amount of fill so we can be able to buy from the bank 20 million naira and save 10 million? Those are um, the odds are against us. See, the man agreed to take the 30 million naira because it will have a 10 million naira profit at the end of the day. He also said he will sue the bank to court if they refuse his proposal. And 
God knows how long the court proceedings will take. Five, ten years. Huh? No businessman wants his 20 million tied down for that long. Um, sorry, what's your name again? Kenneth. Um, Mr. Kennedy. No, Kenneth. Kenneth. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Kenneth. Um, can I get back to you in two days? Could this actually wait two days? Two days, you say? Okay, um, but uh, this deal will not stay for long. Hmm? Um, there are a lot of people interested in this type of deal. Um, this is my card, say. Two days, you call me. Okay, I would call you in two days. I just need to get this sorted out. How are you waiting? And look through the briefing and everything. Five million you were supposed to use for shopping for me. That uh, makes it twenty. Oh no, no, no way. That's a no-go area. Are you serious? Even if I do, I would still be on deficit of ten million naira. You can use your father's house as a collateral. That's the fastest way for you to get ten million naira in less than an hour. Yeah. Y yeah, you know, that didn't really occur to me. Okay. All right. Yeah, I can. I can get a ten million dollar for my father's property. But then, I was still need five million naira. Five million. Um, let me take care of that part. I think I can do something. I can. I can give you a loan. Oh, you are a darling. <laughs> so what are we waiting for? Let's get it cracking then. Well, not until we agree on um, the percentage ratio. Okay, go on, I suggest. 60, 40 in favor of the highest investor. Deal? Deal. So we have a plan. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, um, I need to call Mr. Kenneth, the guy just left here. So, congratulations on the occasion of your first day on seat as a chief accountant of J and K Group. You know what? I want to urge you to draw from the vast experience of Mr. Oju, the budget and planning department manager. He is one man who has been through all the departments of this group. I agree with that, provided I have my break time for my candies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you would never change so <laughs> Baby, I shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> Money is not a problem. <laughs> Money. <laughs> okay, baby, I'll I talk to you. I'll talk to you. All right, bye. Hey, Sir Johnson, what's up? My godfather. I'm here. I can see you are having a jamboree with a little windfall from your father's gratuity. So Johnson, I deserve some respect. That's supposed to be your friendly visit. No, it's not. It's just a visit to flan your ego as the latest millionaire in town. And now listen, even a billion naira is not enough for anyone who has no vision in life. You know what? I'll take that anyway. On the contrary. And that's because you are my godfather. Had it not been that, I swear to God, Sir Johnson, you wouldn't have liked my actions. But let me tell you something. You see these millions over here? 
This million, this million will grow. This million will never go die. It will grow. It will grow into an outfit even bigger than your so-called GNK group. I sincerely hope so. Now, if you will excuse me, you can stay with the girls. I've got more crucial matters to attend to. Old folks. <clears throat> Well, ladies, the old man has left me with you guys. <clears throat> so, I didn't know you had a beautiful sister like this and even more flexible than you are. Oh, whatever the case may be, I'm here to take you out for lunch. Carl, can we leave now? Mr. Emergency Millionaire. You see this charade you have going on here? I'm not impressed. Do you want to have lunch? Go look for some other girl that is not Christy. Find your match, excuse me. Hey, 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 come over here. What's wrong with this girl? Come here. What's the matter with your sister? I'm sorry. She's not the outgoing type. I hope you forgive her. Oh, OK. I like that. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> well, uh, since your sister has refused my offer, you don't mind me taking you out for lunch, right? Um, lunch, no. Dinner, yeah. Oh, then dinner, then. <laughs> 7 p.m. Beverly Hotels. Do you want me to pick you up? Yes, but you wait for me at the street close to my house. Perfect, 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 perfect. Um, sweetheart, just a little of that, you know. I just want this to still be to the food of us. Keep your father and your sister out of this. They belong to the kids. Good thing. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, okay, uh, just saw this old folk that belong to the old team. I'm saying goodbye. <clears throat> He's so full of himself. He's too raw for my liking. Only if he could discard that stupid arrogance. He's a handsome darling for any lady. The accounts are ready. I opened up an account for you, bearing the name Kingsley Abwa. You will pick out the money immediately, immediately, the money gets into that account without wasting a second. And remember, I am also a victim. But I guess we know better, right? Yeah. This is why I call you ingenious witch. We should thank God he's a novice. He will never know lawyers are used for such deals. spend a night together. What do you think? <laughs> so, if I were your daughter or sister, how would you take the fact that I slept with a stranger on our first meeting? Hmm? Look, you don't have respect for people, do you? You must take me back home right now. And look, 
Even to get you with me, you have to let me be in control. Excuse me. Hello? Yeah, this is a concerned friend. Someone is with your boyfriend. Your new boyfriend, Richmond. And guess who? One of the Johnson's daughters. Yes. And right now they're at Bismarck restaurant. I think they're about to leave right now. Please be fast. Chief Johnson is trying to hook you up with his daughter. Shut up, kid. Shut up. Shut up. Oh my God. That was too harsh on him. Uh, who talked to you? Did I call your name? Hey, 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 hey. Come on, come on. Come on, stop Dad. it. Just stop it. I don't give a damn about what you think about me and my family. I just wanted to let you know you're the only white girl in town. Fuck you. Get up, 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 With Richmond. Huh? Does loyalty, morality to one's family, does it mean anything to you? Does it? Sister, the meeting was meant to disgrace him and get her get caught get jealous. And I'm so glad I did. He has to be for the insult at the office. Is that right? And then it's supposed to justify the silly thing you just did. Don't tell me you went on a Lone Ranger mission to avenge yourself on him. Are you out of your mind, Silver? I don't know. Ask him. What if he had raped you? If you were a child, believe me, I would have whipped you till you turned red. Dad, I'm sorry, but you just can't keep taking his insults. Someone needs to stop him. He's getting too much. He needs to be humbled. Oh, shut up. Shut the fuck up. I am man enough to fight my own battles without placing my daughter at risk. You are forgiven today. But if I see you with him next time, believe me, I will do the unexpected. Come and shut the mouth! How many lunatics am I supposed to be rehabilitating? <laughs> Dad, you see this? You see the arrogance that Sylvia just exhibited? That is what you get for continuously sticking out your neck for Richmond. Richmond has no moral etiquette to gain our attention. If, if, if he hadn't come close, Sylvia wouldn't be caught messing around with him. No! It's all right, Christy. Please don't even go there. Huh? Don't even remind me of that. Find a place in your heart to forgive your sister. Can you believe the little girl? It's all right. Sylvia, a little bird of yesterday, she wants it's to fly. All right. She wants to fly? It's all right, you just go it's to okay. bed. This whole thing is getting out of hand. And I want to know the truth. What's eating you up? The love or the deal? Max, don't be silly. 
How could you even say such a thing? Love. How could you even bring love into this matter? Don't you understand that if he drifts out of my hands, then we're going to lose millions? Isn't that what getting worried over? Grateful for dating a wild cat. It's a mistake. I wouldn't have known she she's that crude. I'm sorry. Why don't you go home with me immediately? Come on, sweetheart, what are you talking about? We are talking about the daughter of my godfather here. You know, I had to say to you that she gets home safely. Because you know, if anything happens to her, you and I will be in serious problem. I must be that reason with me, okay? We will not have anything to do with the Johnsons anymore. I forgive you. I hope you've tied up your end with your banker. Because I've done saying, and don't forget that we should be seeing Mr. Kenneth tomorrow. My money is ready, and I hope yours used to. Oh! Jeez! I, I completely forgot. I, oh, jeez. This is something we have to seal up. It's good business. We can't let it slip our hands. Okay, you know what? Let, let me get let me get good with you, alright? I like this one, right? I love it already.
Um, I'm sure you got it a lot. Positive. These are the tellers and I logged in the money by 2.30 to be precise. This is a check for two million and it's for you. The rest of the money, we own it. You happy? Yeah. Nice doing business with you. Same with you. To have lunch. Go look for some other girl that is not Christy. Find your match, excuse me. Sorry, baby. Soon you will expire. As soon as I get my millions from the shopping plaza deal, I will dump you for Christy Johnson. I will buy her even if she proves stubborn. Fool. <sighs> By tomorrow. You will get the full taste of Kate body rot. I've heard you. Thank you very much. Now what I want you to do is get the hell out of there. And leave the rest for me. I will handle it. Get the hell out of there. Has, has, Mr. has Mr. Ken called you? What for? You were supposed to get the original copies of our documents from him? Listen, I was at his office. And guess what I saw? I saw, I saw a man, I saw a man painting what is supposed to be Mr. King's office. And then I asked for him in the neighborhood, but it's like nobody seems to know him in, in, in the neighborhood. I tried his phone, his phone is not going, it's not working. I mean, what is this supposed to mean? What? Some joke or what? I look like someone that would joke about dirty millionaire. You serious? I'll wait. I'll wait. Thank you very much. Yes, 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 I'm here. I'm here. What? Oh, 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 oh. What, what, what's happening? What, what did you say? Are you serious? Let me talk to me. Talk to me. What did you say? Do you, you want to crush check again? No, please, just. Like that? No! No! Wait, no! No! Come on! Listen! 
about me. The first time we both met Mr. Abbott together was in my office. He introduced himself to us both together. None of us had prior knowledge of him or what he does or where he comes from. I also lost money here. Do you understand that? I understand what? I understand what? Why didn't you make a call to the bank in the first place before we getting ourselves into this mess? Why? Oh, Richie, are you trying in any way to blame me? Are you in any way trying to blame me for what happened? Well, I thought you were the man in this relationship. So you are supposed to be wiser and more brainier. Are you a fool? Don't you have common sense? Am I supposed to bring a business to you and also think the business through for you? I also lost five million naira and that is big money for me. Listen, sweetheart. I am the big hit here. I lost my 50 million naira and yet to pay back 10 million naira bank loan. My house is as good as gone. <laughs> Unless you do something serious to save this situation. Can you just shut up because you're sounding like a fool? What? A big one. I'm as much as a loser as you are a loser. I also lost money. 5 million naira is a lot of deal for me. So why don't you get your butt out of my house? And also out of my life while we try to sort this shit out. I will get out of your life and I will make the best use of myself when I get my money back from you. So who gives my money back then? I don't give a fuck who pays you back! It's only when you talk to Lucifer will you get to know his next game plan. Let's hear him out. Okay. Yes, Richmond, what can I do for you? Go to Sir Johnson. Yes, what can I do for you? I, I want to discuss something with you. Go straight to the point. And you've got two minutes to do that, as you can see. We are on our way out. Christy, can you please excuse us? Excuse me? No, she will not. She stays right here with me. Go ahead and tell me whatever you want to tell me. I, um, I lost all the money I, I got from my late father's retirement benefits. It's about 30 million now. Oh my goodness! You lost 30 million naira just like that? Richmond, 
you are lucky you were not sold as well. Now, when you collected your father's money, you did not inform me. When you embarked on the buying spree, acquiring expensive cars for yourself and that your, your stupid mistress, whatever her name is, Kate Bodhi or whatever, you didn't notify me. And when you blindly and recklessly jumped into that shorty business deal, did you seek my opinion? You returned from the United States of America all puffed up with arrogance, thinking you are wiser than all the homebred smart rats here. Now that you've gotten your fingers burned and they've taught you the stuff they are made of, you run to me, expecting me to carry your cross. You get it all wrong. Richmond, get out of my house. Christy, I'm out of here. Christy, please. What is it? Listen, I, I'll lose my father's house if I can't be able to pay back the 10 million naira loan I took from the bank to boost my capital for my field business. Who was your partner in this business? Kate. Kate Bodiron. Kate Bodiron? <laughs> nah, man. Sorry, I can't help you. The leading question was your father's mistress. And you came into the country, you barged in on her without asking questions. And now this. Can't help you. Get out. Oh, and um, one more thing. Richmond, when you are completely flushed and done with your arrogance, your reckless lifestyle with women, your drinking, megalomania, and drug consumption, and you think you're ready to start life afresh and clean, I will prevail on my father to give you a job here in the company. Do you know why? He sees you as the son he never had. see him as an arc enemy. Get out. Right now, get! Man, examine this card for us. And hope don't forget, you sold this card. I mean, Six hundred thousand naira, it's peanuts compared to you know the amount I bought this car from you. See, bro, the newness of the car is not a problem. It was second hand when you bought it. If you remember, it was not here rubber. Now it is used, fairly used. If you are ready to sell, I will pay right away. I even went up so much, and you're complaining. Look, look, bro. You, when I walked in here, you know how much I paid for this car. I have bought it from you. So what is 600,000? I know, but right now, it will be used, fairly used. If I to sell, I will pay you. Right now, either with cash or check. Not go and come tomorrow or post a check. Cash? Cash, you will just go in there and I will pay you right away. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't Yeah, like, uh, like I was saying, eh? So, you can show everything. Show the things. You don't seem to be broke as you said earlier. Man, this is all I got after selling my expensive house property. I mean, chairs, rocks, electronics, generating sets, and you name them. You see, all these things I'm giving you here are very expensive stuff. I'm telling you, these are all designer stuff. Very expensive. You see this laptop over here? This laptop came straight from the US, okay? It's even bigger than Pentium M and it has two spare batteries. 
Look, guy, all these things I'm giving you see this wristwatch? You see the wristwatch? You see the watches? Just one of them costs more than 150k. I'm telling you, I'm just giving them to you. I'm giving you all these things, including my, my designer suits and every other thing. I'm giving you everything. You know, I just want you to add everything together, plus the Jeep. Then you can give it to me for like at least 1.5 million naira. No, 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 It's too much, it's too much. See, uh, I got all you said, but um, I will pay you a million naira for everything, including the Jeep. What? Yeah, and we are talking about cash here. If you want it right now, I will give it to you straight. Either in cash or check, whatever. Think about it. Okay, pay me. Okay. In cash or check? No, nah, cash, cash. I mean, I don't trust any guy around these days, so just pay me in cash. Um, uh, this is 500,000 Naira. And uh, this is another 500,000. You sure? Eh? Yeah. I hope. I hope it's correct. Eh? You can count it. It's correct. Papa, oh, why too much? Mama, Steve, oh, what is it again? I thought I said to the boys yesterday. Mama, I, I just want now to do and give the boys. Now twenty k now. Papa, you too much. Carry on the business. Carry on. Mama. Don't mind him. He's one of those area boys around. They keep disturbing us. We'll pay some security tied to them or they will frustrate your business in a hurry. Even the police cannot stand them. Oh, this is bad. What a disorganized system. Ah, uh, it's everywhere. It's everywhere, my dear. Even in the US where you're coming from. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're extremely right, you know. But the police side, I mean. Huh? Do they have any MJT bank branch around here? Uh you see, when you go out now, you take your right. The next street down there is the bank avenue. Okay. Every bank has a branch there. So if I just go out, I just take my right. Yeah, yeah. It's on the right. Uh, yeah, before you go, uh, I will give you something to write down that will cover up what you have said to me. Oh, oh, no problem. I. So just get to me one minute. I will give you a biro. Wait, a biro. Man, I didn't lose everything. If kids can come here a little bit and help, uh, at least I can be able to gather up to two million Nara. Yeah, and after all, I can have a new plan of getting something fresh for myself and not forgetting my stuff. <laughs> Back on your feet, Rima. <clears throat> Just like you. Why should he insist on cash? And how can you walk the street leisurely like that? Fool. Some bad guy snatched my bag, and I think you should know some of them, judging from what you told me. Nonsense. Do I look at the thief or the police? 
Let me see your legs again. I'll, I'll arrest you. Get, get, get out. Get out. If I see you here again, I swear to God, I'm going to arrest you. Get out. Kit, 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 you, you told me to wait for you here. Yeah, I've been here for the past two hours. Can't you understand? Kit, what are you talking about? I don't have no no change on me. I don't have no money on me. The little one I had, I've been mean, assaulted at the police station. Yeah, what? What are you talking about? I, 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 Kit, you know what? You know what? Come and take me out of here. I can't even wait for the next 30 minutes. You're talking about one hour. One hour. I can't wait for 30 minutes. No, 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 please. Just, just be fast. Just be fast. Get me out of this mess. I want to get out of here. Enjoy yourself while bad evil boys stripped me off every little dime I had. I will excuse you for your rudeness, for intruding into my privacy. Rudeness, you call it? So, so you are happy that I lost my money? I lost money too. I lost everything. And that was due to your stupidity and your foolishness and also your blindness. If it wasn't for Max, where would I have been today? In the same piece that you are in today. Um, hey, hey, hey. Richmond or whatever they call you, I don't give a fuck. Okay? But I want to make something clear and straight. I don't want to see low lives like you. Cast away joke. Like you close to my life. Else, I swear to God, I will beat your yellow ass to death. of your stinking self. Go out there, get yourself a job, start your life afresh again. Make your life have a meaning and leave me alone. Be a man. father's money. You did not inform me 
when you embark on the buying spree acquiring expensive cars for yourself and that your your stupid mistress whatever her name is keep bordering on whatever you didn't notify me and when you blindly and recklessly jumped into that shoddy business deal did you seek my opinion you returned from the united states of america all puffed up with arrogance thinking you are wiser than all the homebred smart rats here now that you've gotten your fingers burnt and they've taught you the stuff they are made of you run to me expecting me to carry your cross you get it all wrong out of my house which one when you are completely flushed and done with your arrogance your reckless lifestyle with women your drinking megalomania and drug consumption and you think you're ready to start life afresh and clean i will prevail on my father to give you a job here in the company do you know why he sees you as the son he never had but you you see him as an arch enemy go out there get yourself a job start your life afresh again make your life have a meaning and leave me alone be a man Oh boy, see, I see, be like this. Eh? Me, I don't scatter, I don't pieces like wish. No, that's sad. And whether they like or not, me, I don't send now. Nah. Shoo. You see that guy? Me, I go shoo. Who be that? Let me know this one, what you do. That nah, not nah, small, you nah, know, the reason it matter. I nah, watch you. Oh boy, leave that guy. See, I be like this, whether they like or not, we don't be. You know, that's sad. We don't be, we say we don't be now. Nah. Me, I go hammer. Ah, uh, okay, hammer, they want you be hammer. I go nah. hammer. Me, I be. Go... <laughs> Let me this one, oh. Ah, uh, which one? Oh boy, oh boy. Guy. Why the guy beat for backside? Uh, guy. Oh, sorry, guy. You, sorry. you know they see? Guy, leave, 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 guy. I've been on. I'm like a refugee. Just let this guy hold. Wait till you have one. Wait till you have a problem now. 
What in that? Stop there! What's it? Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. Ah! 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 Good evening, sir. Madam. Okay, what is it? He kept one young man waiting on the disturb me since. He said he won't come see chief. What did he call himself? Uh, he said his name is uh, Rich Man. That just is uh, Campbell's son. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah? Go tell him to go to hell. Yeah, and madam, he bless he don't even reach hell before I see himself. How do you mean? He be like thief where they don't beat beat where where. Oh in face here, yeah. Mark, here yeah, swell up. In cloud can be like person when don't sleep for under bridge for how many years? Are you serious? Over serious they worry me, madam. But he is supposed to be with his car. Yeah? Car? Oh guy, you need to use your eyes, see yeah. You be like person when get accident with tree. Yes. Okay, bring him in. Okay. What? Wait, 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 wait. Bring him in? Yes. Daddy, are you sure that is safe? It, it is Richmond we're talking about here. Let's see him and see if he deserves our attention. Please. Go and fetch him. Okay, sir. Father, I've come to tell stories. I know, I know I've been a fool not to listen to your advice. Forgive me. Forgiven. Now, get out of my house. No, no, Daddy. He's badly hurt. You can't do that. Look at him. Are you his advocate? Has he asked for help? He only asked to be forgiven. And in my magnanimity, I have forgiven him. So I'm ready to do whatever you ask me to do. I will take any job you offer. Any. Good. Can you be my personal driver? Daddy! That's a demeaning job for a master's degree holder. Come on. That's my decision. Now, will you be my personal driver? Yes, sir. I will. Good. You've got a job. Um, let's see. Today is Sunday. Come back tomorrow morning, first thing. Now, you will drive me around for six months. And if I'm convinced that the rebellious demons that have taken permanent residence in you have taken flight, then I will consider you for a more befitting position in my company. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Miss Johnson. Thank you so much. Stay at the guest room. The streets are not safe for him. Look at him, he's a complete mess. 
What's that got to do with me? It's your business with him. Yeah, but that's not what your dad said. He said we should get some cheap and good looking stuff. This place looks expensive. Is it? Well, stay behind if you're afraid. thousand naira. I want you to carefully pick out the clothes you want to. I need you to pick out decent, responsible clothes. And when you're done, you get back to the office. Right now, I really have to run. I have this urgent appointment to catch up in the office. Okay? standing up for me. I, I really miss Josh too. You're welcome. I just need you to be serious with your work. Okay. Thanks again. <laughs> I didn't know about it. All right. 
Okay, just keep me informed, all right? Great. Um, sorry for the interruption, sir. That's all right. Well, uh, so I, I'm, I've come to say thank you very much for accepting the prodigal son. Richmond, don't mention it. Just do your job. All right? Okay, sir. Thank you so much. Yeah. Hey, Dad. Here is the thing that you asked for. I was specific about what you should buy for him. I said cheap but neat clothes. What you bought for him are expensive designer all through. Dad, I paid for those with my money. I mean, he didn't give me the money to buy them, did you? Oh, come on, Chris. It doesn't matter who pays for them. Wait a minute. Oh, is my daughter going to solve for a, a, a wayward prodigal retainee? That he was wayward. Not anymore. I believe he has changed. Besides, there is no love lost. I'm only being sympathetic. <coughs> Daddy, this is your godson we're talking about here. His attire is way beyond the class of a driver, for God's sake. Hmm. Well then, give him a job that befits your godson. Oh, is that right? Mm -hmm. Just give me a minute. Hello? Please send Mr. Richmond to my office. Yes, the new driver. What's that for? I will prove to you that I too can be very sympathetic. Okay. Oh, yes, sir, you sent for me. Yes, Richmond. Regardless of the circumstance, you are my godson. Now, I am aware that you have your master's in economics. I am also aware that you were never doing your doctorate in America. You just ended up squandering all the money your father sent to you doing drugs over there in America. You think we did not know what you were doing over there in the United States? You may not know this, but your father was a very meticulous man. Nonetheless, I will do what I have to do. From now on, Rich, you are now the manager of logistics. I carved out that department for you when I asked you to come and work for me, but you arrogantly turned it down. Now, set up an office for him before the close of work today. And you, Richmond, you will be on a basic salary of 250000 per month. Dad! A three-bedroom flat and an official car. That's way more than what you pay me, and you call me the MD? You will get ready for a two-week refresher course in logistics. All expenses paid. Well, uh, honestly, sir, I, I don't mind a salary lesser than hers. Oh, come on, Richmond. Christy is my daughter, and I know how to handle her. Now go. Okay, sir. Thank you so much. Hello? You mean the scorpion is about to sting again? Keep a tab on that vampire. All right. Yeah, do that and keep me posted. Oh!
I will not take that, Dad. It's an insult to my person. So I won't. I won't take it. But you gave me the impression that you wanted the best for him. Well, not more than I want for myself. Look, you are the MD. Increase your salary if you feel disgruntled. I don't understand you, Dad. I just don't understand you. Why, 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 why do you put so much interest in a mere godson? Why? Is it because you don't have a male child? What is it? What are you up to? Nothing that should get you all worked up like this. Now listen, I choose what I do for my godson. So mind your business and let him be. After all, you started this charity thing in the first place, didn't you? Don't forget to make the flight arrangements for the conference in Abuja. How to feel threatened. I think this whole decision might undermine our authority in the company. Dad! That is exactly what I'm trying to experiment. Let's wait and see how Richmond takes it. You two may not understand, but that's how it stays for now. Dad. Senator Bob Manuel, I have got everything to nab him down and nail him. I've got so much debt on him. The dude killed his wife and got married to her sister. Um, well, expected payoff from this job is 40 million. Ben, excuse us. Uh, okay. Are you okay? Kate, I'm tired of waiting for you for years. It's either you accept my marriage proposal or we quit. I mean, we have 120 million naira cash in your account. And for that reason, I will not and cannot allow you to sleep with any other man all in the name of business. You know what? Split the money. I quit. Are you okay? I'm good, baby. But seeing you with Senator Bob at the gallery today is a long reason for me to be But that's our job. And I'm done with the job. I am done with the job. Come on. I'm supposed to be building up my family by now. Okay? Well, maybe you did not hear what I said. I was talking about 40 million naira here. 40 million, 40 billion, I don't give a fuck. I am not interested, okay? What if I refuse to get married to you? Kit, I swear to whatever I believe in, you will see the beast in me. Oh! You think my 60 million naira cash will be in your account and I won't have another plan, eh? In case of any act of betrayal. No, no. I'm smarter than that, baby. Um, you can go ahead and plan the wedding. Yeah. I, I want a family too. I was just pulling your legs. I want to know how far you really can go. I want to... I want to have children for you. I want to start a family. I want... Are you serious? I want to start making babies. I'm so, so happy. You've made my day. Thank you. 
um, um, uh, you know what? We need to go and celebrate, okay? Somewhere cool. Okay, so why don't you go downstairs, warm the car, bring it out of the garage, let me touch up my makeup and pick up my bag. All right. I'll be waiting. Why did you stop here? Maxwell, you made the greatest mistake of your life the minute you threatened to expose me. Did you forget who you're talking to? The woman who he threatened. Stay where you are. Stay where you are. Don't do this on the way. Stay where you are! Jesus Christ! Not joking! I am the one who goes around sleeping with those old fools and you? You are a mere errand boy. What I give to you should be enough for you. You shouldn't have referred to the money in my account as our money because it is not meant for you. But considering the fact that you're very greedy and you want it all to yourself, I see you as a threat to my life in the future and I do not want mistakes in the future because I have big plans and you you, Maxwell, you are not part of the plan. Please. Please don't do this. A good black miller never forgets a threat. Never ignores a threat. Because it's like a seed. Once you sow it, it can grow big and big and sometimes bigger than the person who sold it himself. I, Kate Baduran, I wouldn't want to sow such a seed.
assassin caught by his own target victim before he could strike. The game is unsinator. JNK, help me, I'll help you. Oh! Mirage Confectionery, Mr. Hoods. I'm, I'm so glad to hear from you, sir. Uh, sir, I'm sorry you can't be able to meet with the MD and the chairman. They've traveled to Abuja for a conference. Yes, sir. About about the, 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 the printing and packaging contract? Oh, sir, can can the expertise with um um oh oh oh, oh okay Mr. 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 Wu, just 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 listen to this. Do you know what? If if it is just for someone to act as a chairman of GNK, I can do that. I can do it. Yeah. Mr. Old, honestly speaking, we can't afford to lose this contract. No, we can't. Yes, okay, then then, then, then just let me just let me act for him. No, Mr. Hoos, trust me, trust me. I do have knowledge on the contract brief. I'm telling the truth. I can do it. Mr. Hu, definitely, definitely, I, I, I will look like a rich chairman that will represent JNK. Yes, just, just do the cover up for me. All right? Okay, Mr. Hu, thank you so much. I'll be there, I'll be there now. Give me two hours, I'll be there. Two hours. All right, bye. Hold it right there, you mischievous son of a goggle. Beg your pardon, Miss Johnson. You're not deaf, I suppose. So this is it. This is your game plan. You schemed your way into this company, and you think you can displace me and take what belongs to me? No, this, this is silly. Silly? You are the silly town coat. The shameless gold digger. Richmond, if you for one moment thought that you would take what belongs to me, then you live in a fool's paradise. I refuse to take that. You have no choice. I make the final decisions here, Richmond. And if I were you, I would resign before I'm disgraced out. You had the guts to take 300,000 naira from the company's account. And you even fearlessly took my special jeep to your silly meeting. It was inevitable. Inevitable, my fault. Now, tell me, Mr. J and K Chairman, who's your next target? What's your next plan? Your next victim? Oh, let me guess, that would be the Chairman. And the thing that I suspected you earlier, Abnisho, I keep suspecting you because I don't get why a, a full grown man like you, a well run graduate, would take on a driving job. You know what, Richmond, you're just a shame. Enough! Enough! Listen, woman, I'm sick and tired of the needless backing. For God in heaven's sake, can't you hear me out for once? Hear you out? Well, I don't need any explanation from a devil's incarnate like you. You go out there, look for another gold mine to dig because this one, this one has been sealed permanently by me. 
and I assure you, you will not get even a dime from it. Mm -mm. Not while I'm here. This is how you went about. You lavished your father's wealth. You landed up in the street like the street urchins. If it wasn't for my father who picked you up, he dusted you up, brought a pig like you to dine with the blue blood, where will you be by now? Where? Point of correction, Miss Johnson. I was never a beggar all my life. I liked nothing. Why it is true, I was a bit reckless with my life, but it's had nothing to do with the picture you are painting. I'm done with you and everything about you and Kay. in your nursery. Silver, how come I have not been briefed about what Richmond used 300,000 naira worth of wardrobe for? Sir Johnson! Yes? Sir Johnson, I want to thank you for your help. For all your help. But there is a limit in man's patience. There is every indication that Miss Johnson does not want me to write. She raises for every little mistake I make and finds non-existent fault just to get me jumping at will. I'm only here to say that J and K moves on. But it seems she's more interested in power play. Calm down, Richmond. Calm down and explain things to me. Sir Johnson, I asked for 300,000 Naira for a special shopping so I can look like a rich chairman to represent J and K. <laughs> Of course, I need our chief to make my impersonation real. Don't get me wrong. I didn't do this all by myself. I did this with the permission of Mr. Hood, the resident MD of Mirage Confectionaries. The chief executives were here and he needed to meet with the chairman of JNK for the mega contract of printing and packaging the five new brands. Of course, they would have eliminated all if we hadn't showed up. And it demanded to meet with the chairman. So I took the chance. And I did it! Get fast. Handedly won the contract for J and K. Oh, this is brilliant! Yes, sir. A ten billion naira contract I brought with three hundred thousand naira. I've tried as much as possible to make you feel comfortable around me, but it seems we're not meant to work together. However, I want you to know one thing. Whatever I have done, I've been in the interest and growth of J and K. I've never dreamt of defrauding any member of this company, and that includes you, Miss Johnson. As for your position as MD, I don't need it for free. You can have it. I don't need to be the MD to put in my best for a company that I love. Thank you for reminding me how stupid I was to have lavished my father's wealth. How reckless I was with my life. Thank you. I only ask for one favor. I only ask for, for some sense of belonging. You couldn't even give me the chance to prove myself, to defend myself. You didn't even care to know what was in the fire. Your man. 
was made up but humiliating me. For reason best due to yourself! <laughs> Good. Thank you. Thank you for telling me how wonderfully I have changed from a monster to a civilized person. Thank you. You will always be a part of that change. I owe you my gratitude. And I will pay you someday. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I don't understand you. One moment you want him out of J and K, the next moment you are weeping for him. Why are you doing this to an innocent man? Has he not done enough for you to trust him? Sister, that was very, very unfair. He tried so much to get Mr. Hood convinced and even took a serious risk and we got a contract we've spent so much chasing when it was almost lost. What else do you want? Why? Here again to crucify me for my innocence. Yeah. Please. I don't want to cry again. That's not good for the empty church. I overreacted. I should have at least allowed you to say something. You didn't have to, if you don't want to. I'm also aware of the awesome power of choice. And I'm sorry. But truly, if you really meant this, you are forgiven. At least I can be able to earn my salary at the end of the month. Which way you don't have to be like that. I said I'm sorry. And I'm truly sorry. I was thinking if if you'd like to work in another company, I can work things out for you. if we were operating from different organizations. That's quite preposterous. There is nothing stopping us from wishing for the more in whatever affection we to show to each other. I'm only here for Sir Johnson. Nobody can move me out of this place except him.
He didn't deserve that attack. But why is he finding it difficult to get my signals? I can't be seen going out with my staff. That's unhealthy. An aberration. It's against all non-professional ethics. But I can't keep my mind off him. He has to get the sign. Even if I have to spell it out clearly. I love him. trying to make my running me down. And what is this suggestion that I should find another job in another organization? Why doesn't you want me in JNK? This is getting more confusing. It's hard time I crawl out of my shadows and say my mind. Yes, it's good at the call. Um, Mr. Douglas, you know what? I want you to... I want you to get the necessary logistics ready. Yes, then we'll see what we can come in from there. Yeah, because I have a very tight deadline to meet. Okay. Now, 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 now. I need it now, now, now. All right, good, good. I'm close, right. It's good that you called. I want you to just go at the venue. Yeah, because we have a lot of work to, work to achieve. Yeah. Yeah, Barrister. Yes, yes, as, as respect to the legal contract. Okay, okay. Okay, you just go there, alright? I'll be there in the Jeffrey. Alright. Okay. Bye bye. I don't wish to see anybody except for Mr. Richmond Campbell or my father. Thank you. He's such a beauty at work. Totally transformed. One expected him to be arrogant because of the salary he's placed on. But he's so humble. He's a different rich man from the one I despised. And why in this world is he my employee? What will people say? No, 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 no. It's not possible. 
I have to get rid of him from this company if I must have him. Or forget about him permanently. Oh God. I've never felt for a man like this before. Why? Well, uh, I had a visit to propose site for the new plant and uh, I had a meeting with the traditional ruler. And uh, believe me, the, um, his condition is flexible. You mean... You mean you, you did that already? Come on, Miss Johnson. You give me a deadline. I'm gonna beat it. Do you mind picking my clothes out of the laundry for me? Here is the address on the receipt. What a pleasure. I also need you to get me some peanuts and snacks at the supermarket on your way back. It's also my pleasure. Check the company mails at the post office. Well, uh, if the messengers are very busy, I would do exactly that. I expect you to call off my bluff after yesterday's fracas. Protest, bastard, protest. Fight for your ego. Tempt me to suck you, you son of a bitch. So I can be free to come after you. Argue with me, coward. Be a man. Oh. Oh wait. I'm not giving you money. No, no. It's all right. <laughs> it's all right. I I paid the bills. Don't bother yourself. You want to pay my bills? Oh, why not? Why not? You 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 remember you bought my first set of suits. I don't easily forget favors of people. Maybe when that person offended me seriously. You know, I believe in um, certain issues separately. Well, that's a sound argument. Thanks, Miss Johnson. One more thing. Do you mind if you stopped calling me Miss Johnson? Address me by my first name, Christy. Okay, Miss Johnson. Richmond? Okay, for calling me by my first name, I'm now safe to call you Christy. Hmm. Never knew you were this intelligent, Richmond. Well, thanks for the compliment, but it can't be measured to your intelligence. Okay, go. You can go. How is the mighty falling? Dad? What is biting you, daughter? Nothing, Dad. I don't believe you. I saw him on my way here. Oh, is he constituting himself into a problem to you? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. On the contrary, he has been a tremendous relief to me. He does virtually everything and happily too. Didn't you notice that since he stepped in I've put on some weight? 
Yes. Mm, Daddy, he surprises me. You know, one would think that given his salary scale that it would get to his head. But he refuses to allow it. He takes my orders without qualms. And he just has a way of disarming me all the time. Look, daughter, ensure you make wise assumptions and don't go getting too trusting. Do you love him? What? No! No, 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 Dad. I, I don't. Why will I fall in love with my employee? What would people out there think? Does it really matter? This is your company. Dad, I am a moralist. And you know such... Abnormal relationships do matter to me. I'm not interested in him. Okay, so can you not bring it up again? Thank you. Okay, okay, daughter. Now listen, I will not interfere in your private life, but take my advice. Do not fight your heart's desire based on what you think people might say. It's your happiness that counts in the long run, Christy. Dad. I am not interested in him. That's what I said. Oh, come on. Take a look at yourself in the mirror and check out the backlog of unattended files and your own self-confession of sudden loss of appetite. It tells it all. It speaks the language of love. Church yourself, baby. Wow. A no-nonsense disciplinarian and moralist urging his daughter into a relationship that will only evoke unhealthy gossip. That's the most shocking irony. Daddy, you surprise me. No, 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 Chrissy. I am not urging you on. Neither am I going to tell you lies. But in a short while, you will get to understand who I am and why I am doing what I do now. evidence. Yes, we will not allow her hack down another victim. Yes, I am really proud of you. We actually got them to do our bidding and we were able to save 30% of the initial cost on our company. Brilliant! I wouldn't have been able to achieve this. Oh, I am proud of you, Richmond. Thank you so much, sir. Now, wait a minute. What's all that junk you have in your hands? It's not good for a man. Oh, no, no, it's not. They're not mine, sir. They're, they're Christie's. Yeah, she actually asked me to stop at the laundry and pick her clothes and I should get this stuff to have some biscuits and peanuts. She also said I should stop at the post office and pick the meals. You mean Christine sent you on errands meant for messengers? Oh sir, Miss Christie deserves much more than my respect. I owe her and you a lot. I really can't help but wonder what point she's trying to make here. Richmond? Sir? Can I ask you a very crucial question? Oh, yes, sir. You're most welcome. 
Do you by any chance have any soft spot for my daughter? <clears throat> um Oh uh, I <laughs> sir is 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 a hard one, sir. But to be straight as you are, I'll say yes. I really love your daughter. But as an employee, I I I can't. look look that you love her is enough. You don't have to bother about what people will say. I have the final say. Okay, sir. Oh, let me just talk this. All right. Do then. Slap me? Sack me? I will not take anybody playing any funny games on me. I've got work to do. Get out! What, what are you insinuating? I owe you no explanations. Beat it, slave. Yeah, but honestly, I take serious exception to that, Christy. You know, that you be my boss does not give you the right to just bully me around anyhow you like. If I have to be hounded like this by you anytime and anyhow, but I think I consider resigning. Aha! Uh -huh. Resign! Resign then! Resign, you fool! You know, if you were not daft, if you were not slow in your brains, you should have done that earlier than now. This is crazy. It's crazy? Well, I'll tell you what's crazier. If you're tired, there's the door. Walk by it. But think that I didn't want you here in the first place. As far as I'm concerned, you are nothing but a shameless prodigal son looking to rip where he did not sow. Bloody gold digger. Out! Right now. by calling me a coward, a slave, a prodigal son that is yet to reap what he did not sow, a shameless gold digger. These were the exact words of Christine to me for doing nothing. She asked me to resign and I've done just that. You are a stupid, chicken-hearted man. I 
know you such a spineless coward to be frightened by a woman's empty words. Which one is greater? Christine's ranting or my compliment? Christine barks at you and you take fright and run like a dog with his tail in between his legs and you come pa whimpering. I, 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 I hereby resign. Now, I don't care how you do it. You better go back to your duty post. Or better still, find a way to confront her and, and treat her the way a woman should be, be treated. I don't blame Christine. You are the one handling her with kid gloves and I take an exception to it. Now, look here, Richard. Take this abominable piece of paper and get lost. Get out of my office before I, I, I do something nasty to you. Woman frightens you. You and you come running to what do you want me to do? Catch my daughter, put her on the table and start whipping her. Problem? You asked for it, and I want to show the world you can stop you and lead home. You called me a slave! Yes, I am a slave! I am a slave, and I'm proud to be your slave! But I will sound it to everyone, and everyone that cares to listen! I love you, Christy! I love you! I love Christy! I love Christy! I love you! What can you do about it? Nothing! I've already turned my resignation. You can't do nothing about it. You understand? You cannot do it. Be brave. Be brave as, as I am. Be brave and come out. Brother, would you and give open the door? Please open the door. Get up. Give it. Give it up. Be as brave as you can go. Stay away from me! I'm mad. I'm crazy. I may be your prodigal son, but I'm better than a sneaking diala. I may be a gold digger, but, but I refuse to be. I refuse to be your soft destroyer. Yeah. Look at yourself. Face them. Face them, tell them that you have the heart of loving and you will be terrible to the heart. You will be dearer to the heart. Tell them that you are capable of loving. Look at them. Face them. Face them. Face them. Face them. Say, say someone. Tell them that you have the heart of love, of loving. You put materialism and man made ethics in front of nature. You are able to exactly what you are. You can go to hell for whatever I care. I don't give a hook. I don't give a hook. You know why? You know why? Come on. Declare your intention. Play like this, when you love me. I can say it. Driver, open the door! But you can't say it! You can't say it! You know why? Because you are stuck up with power. You are stuck up with power. Get the fuck up with power. I'll tell you. You know what, baby girl? I am the hero. And you are a baby villain. That's what you are. Because you don't have the guts to say it. I love Christy! I love you! I love you, Christy! I love Christy! I love her! I love her! Come on, say something! Say something! Be a woman! Be the proud and possible one! Say something! You can't! You can't! I will always swim in the hero. Remain the hero around here.
I quit. You quit? Yes, I quit. Take it. It's my resignation letter. Now you can go ahead and run the company with your godson. It's now clear that you seem to share a lot of secrets with him. Secrets that are much more important and deeper than your daughter's interest. Christy, I have to be very blunt with you. For every misunderstanding you have had with Richmond, you have been faulted. Yes, can't you see you are acting confused and you need help? You are my daughter and I know you will not seek help because of your ego and the nature of your job. That will not allow you to show any sign of weakness. Now, let me tell you this. Keeping your home and holding down a white collar job are two separate worlds. They have nothing together. But if you skillfully blend the two together, you can still manage your home and hold down a white collar job. And if you cannot, then you prioritize. You take what's important and drop the other. I am telling you this because rich could be taking orders from you today as your subordinate in the office. But at the close of work, the situation could reverse. He could become the boss and then you find yourself at the other side of the divide. And I tell you, that is the stuff real geniuses are made of. Christy, do not let me get disappointed in you. Just hear me out. Gladiators again. <laughs> but um, I'm sorry for everything that happened yesterday. I'm here to make up for everything. How? What about a little shopping with an angel and a dinner? They will be able to sit and decide who stays and who leaves J and K group. Because as it is, there can't be two captains in a ship. I'm ready to compromise everything, baby. Oh my God. Pick up the challenge, Lannis. <laughs> Lunch it is. Downtown restaurant, I'll pick you up. I'll drive myself to the appointment. Thank you very much, sir, for understanding. You're welcome. I'm going to take my leave. It's all right. Oh my God, I love this. <laughs> and you two, you get to know what you both are up to. to my father. If you didn't fight for me on that day, I would have been history by now. For the first time in my life, I saw true love in its most radiant colors with those sympathetic eyes of yours. You nearly shed tears for this worthless grandeur. Richmond, I, you have to... Don't try to defend yourself. Nothing can be changed about that. But I'm, I'm glad I can take you out for lunch 
as a gentleman rehabilitated by your caring for me. I know I'm not a class. I'm just an ordinary employee who works in your father's company. By implication, I'm your employee. God will not forgive me if I don't say what is on my mind. Christy, I love you. I truly love you. And if my, my princess will consider me, I... I wish... I wish... I wish you'd marry me. I... I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I want to live with you. I want to... I want to live happily with you. I don't mind. I can... I can even lose my job for you. I understand the risk profile I'm taking. Please, Christy, marry me. Please. Richmond, I will hate to see you go back to the gutters. Excuse me. Don't make me do this. Dating my worker is most unethical. Keep your job. Keep the good pay. And leave me alone. You and I, we're still hankering through the possibility of an ordinary friendship. And the best you can do is to pour fuel into the infamous by, by proposing marriage. What are you, crazy? Good day, sir. Good day, rich man. You didn't inform me you were coming. I didn't want to, sir. Why? Because I wanted our discussion to be as natural as possible. No rehearsals. Good. Sit down and talk to me. Thank you, sir. Well, sir, so I... I want to thank you for bringing me back to what my late father wanted me to be. I'm only sorry that he's not around to behold his change done. Your dad, I was... Kristen, please, don't leave. Please, have a seat. You are a part of the discussion I'm having with your father. Please. While I do appreciate your family's support, I refuse to be a coward. I will not die in silence. I know how risky what I'm asking for could be. Yet I'm asked. As true it is, 
It's much, it's much more than a job. The expert, uh, the class gap might be wide, but the subject knows neither the class nor the status. No sacrifice is too much for true love, sir. I wish to let you know that I'm in love with Christine and I want her to marry me. Never. That is never going to happen. Dad, you know I can't accept this. I can't marry my walker. Excuse me. She's like that. A chronic moralist. A fanatic, so to say. But you have done what a man should do, and I am proud of you. Thank you, sir. Wow, Dad, it's really a knockout. Mohammed Ali has won again, and I'm so, so happy. Well, Richmond guy, you're the man. You're the main man, Dad. You know what it is. Huh? You know you're feeling right? God. <laughs> Richmond, you go and let's meet in the office tomorrow. I have to end this before it degenerates into something rather ugly. Patiently for this hour. Now, what I am about to say here is known to no one else except Barrister Fred. Richmond, your father died under mysterious circumstances, presumed to have been suicide. He was alleged to have murdered his own confidential secretary, Susan Randall who was supposed to be blackmailing him. That is a lie. You see, Richmond, your father was murdered by a blackmailer, a smart crook. Now, this was found at the scene of murder because I was the first to arrive at the scene of crime after hearing the painful voice of dying Susan Randall over the phone. I found this right there under a desk in room 15 of Hotel Perron. And I have kept it for good reason. Now, Richmond, Take a look at it. GK, love symbol KB, I don't understand. What does it mean? Greg Campbell loves Kate Bordiron. Kate Bordiron was blackmailing Campbell for having taken bribe from three governors to uphold three elections at the tribunal. And the bribe was to the tune of 10 billion. But is that true or is it just a trumped up charge? It was true. 
Campbell did take the bribe on that two weeks. Because if he had refused, they would have frustrated him using the chief justice. And I'm afraid they would have killed him. Yeah, he was a very brave man. So he was ready to call off their bluff and face whatever the consequences was. But I was able to convince him that he would never be guilty of trying to save his own life. I offered a way out and he bought the idea. You see why I tried to suppress Kate's crime? Because it would have exposed Campbell and made nonsense of the reputation he had suffered for decades to build. Now, Kate Bordiron got Campbell to pay up a total of 100 million naira in four consecutive blackmail deals using Max as her Max man. After your father's burial, I tried to arrest Kate using the necklace as an exhibit. But I was shocked to discover that she had a replica of the jewelry your father bought for her. Right there in her home. Same necklace, same inscription. I later discovered upon inquiries that she made an express order from the same company that your father had bought the jewelry from long before the, the warrant was executed. She beat me to it. But I had to re-strategize and try to pin her at the slightest mistake. And guess what? I have got a crook in my net. And it's better seen than imagined. So, let's all go. We are taking a ride. <laughs> I'm Inspector Madika. You are under arrest. What's the meaning of this embarrassment? Mr. Johnson, what's the meaning of this? What is going on here? You killed my father. You made it look like a suicide. to play games against the masters. Aren't you tired of being a stupid, silly, useless evidence against me, Johnson? Aren't you tired? You went to Campbell's son, Richard, and you defrauded 25 million men. And he lost his father's house to the bank. And as a game master, Sir Johnson, Richmond, here we are. The documents of the house. I am also a victim here, okay? I was also defrauded. So you had no proof against me. You don't have any evidence. That is the joker. Inspector. I've never seen him before in my life. So with everything you put in front of me, I will not be intimidated. Never! When Max, your accomplice, 
wanted a decent life for himself and proposed marriage as against pulling off another deal with you. What did you do? You murdered him. This is, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Why don't you blackmail Senator about Manuel here? Max wanted you to just settle down. They didn't just expose you if you refuse. But our greedy game player will not miss Senator Bob's with you. I didn't kill Max! Yes, you did. I did not kill Maxwell. I didn't kill Maxwell. I didn't kill him! <clears throat> See? The plans had Bob Emanuel's picture on him with a gun. So they will look like he wants to assassinate him. And when the senator tries to disentangle himself from 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 for Max's murder. You will now move in with the murder information and nail him. That way, you will be able to take anything you ask for him. I hate your guts, you brainless cook. No, she's not brainless. She is a damn good player. But I tell you what, I am the master game player. This is your last card, okay? I'm not the only game in one here, okay? Your father was a thief. Your father took a bribe, a bribe of 10 billion naira. So I'm not guilty. I'm not. Why not go and raise him from the dead to come and defend himself? Check up, baby. Time is up. Okay? You think you would murder a whole justice of the Federation and get away with it? I am the master game player. And you are just an amateur. <laughs> <laughs> To remain silent, anything you say or do shall be used against you in the court floor. You have a right to an attorney, and not afford one will be appointed to you by the state. Let's whisk away. You're under arrest. I know you will all be surprised why we are back here. Now, the unanswered question is where did Justice Campbell stash the 10? Billionaire. This part of the story stays with just the five of us. Now, Justice Campbell was smart enough to have used my company, a clearing and forwarding outfit then, to front for the deal and instructed the governors to pay into my company account through three different banks, making several installmental payments. I now went ahead and made several receipts to justify the payment using a foreign fleet and foreign company as my partners. Now, in this envelope, is a gentlemanly agreement made between Justice Campbell and I, witnessed by Barrister Fred. He will go ahead and give out five copies made out for each and every one of us. Barrister? Well, as I am pleased to what I have here, <clears throat> acronym J and K in our company's name is actually Johnson and Campbell. It is Justice Campbell's outfit managed for him by me. Richmond, your 
recalcitrance, waywardness, and prodigal propensity so worried your father that he decided you were going to be disinherited until such a time that you changed for the better. And I was mandated to supervise that metamorphosis. And if you had not changed for the better, believe me, a substantial chunk of the J and K group's effort would have gone to charity. Initially, I thought Kate Borderon knew the destination of the 10 billion naira, so I was scared to expose her, lest she turns around and expose Campbell and destroy the J and K group. Events later proved that though she had proof of the bribe taken, she did not know where the 10 billion was ultimately channeled. Well, in this agreement, Richmond is the chairman of J and K Group. So that means 40% shareholding goes to him. While 20% goes to Johnson. And 10% each goes to his daughters. And finally, 20% I have fulfilled the pledge I made to my best friend and benefactor and I stand to be judged by posterity. Sir Johnson, I want, to, I want to thank you so much for being there for me. You've really been a sincere man in my life. I'm so glad I didn't see this coming. Thank you so much. Barrister Fred, thank you so much. You are a very honest man. And for this, I will retain you as a family legal advisor. Father and my late father to see the friendship be extended to the next generation. And our marriage would do exactly that. If only you can see through me, you will feel all the love that I feel for you. If only feelings can be heard, you will know that I need not to say a word. After we have come this far, you should know. I cannot lie to you cause you mean the world to me Cause my love for you is real So real My love for you is so true So true My love is real So real My love for you is so true so true.